Hilla was recently added to Spring Initializer, which means you can now create a Spring Boot and React application super easy right here. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to do a Maven project, but you can use Gradle as well if you prefer. And I'm going to add the Hilla dependency, and I'm going to also add the Spring Boot DevTools dependency like this. I'm going to hit Generate and open up the zip file. Once we have that unzipped, we're going to CD into the folder, and I'm going to open it in IntelliJ ID, but you can use any other ID that you prefer. All right, so if you look at the project right now, it's just a plain Spring Boot application, nothing special about it. So for us to initialize Hilla, we're going to run a Maven goal here, and we're going to use the built-in Maven wrapper, and we're going to use uh, Hilla init app like this. What this is going to do is going to create a front-end folder here, which includes our React application and a sample endpoint here, which is what we can call to access the server from our front end. All right, so we're going to start the application by just running the demo application here. And what this should do is it will start both the front end and the back end build. The first time you do this, it'll take a little while because it's downloading all the Maven and NPM dependencies doing a front end build. But if you uh, Close this, you should see that you have Tomcat started on 8080. So let's go there, localhost 8080. And we can see that there's a front end build running right now. So let's wait for that to finish and see what we have. All right, so there we go. We have a React application up and running here. Let's put that here to the side and open up our main view here. So we can see that our main view has the uh, text field and the button that we can see. and it is calling this hello endpoint that we looked at here to call the server. We can go ahead and try to change this. So let's add a hello world here. And you can see that that gets library loaded right here. So that's it. That's how easy it is to create a React and Spring Boot application using Hilla. Go to hilla.dev to find out more about these type safe uh, endpoints and everything else that Hilla offers. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.